Hello, welcome uh, to this episode. Very, very interesting about sports and varicocele. Uh, before you do anything, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and also take a look at some of the links that I'm going to be recommending for varicocele products. So one of the questions that I receive frequently is what kind of sport activity can I play? Can I play football? Can I, is, is soccer safe for me? What about uh, volleyball? Can I play volleyball? Uh, especially if those of you who are in competitive sports. What about those who are passionate about basketball? Is basketball safe for varicocele? Does basketball protect about varicocele? What are the sports can I uh, practice safely that's gonna make uh, my varicocele uh, at least uh, not get worse or even disappear if you want to know that if you want to do question the answer to these questions especially young men are uh, the most uh, frequent group of person affected by varicose and it happen also to be the most involved in uh, sports group competitive group uh, what about swimming swimming and water polo is this a sport that can make uh, your varicose worse or better we're gonna be taking a look at the data we're gonna be taking a look at published scientific studies uh, so uh, stick around till the end of the, um, the talk and uh, let me know in the comment section if you have any remark or you want me to do something else hello and uh, welcome uh, today I'm gonna try to answer a frequent question that I receive about varicocele and sport uh, is sport something that I can do is it um, gonna be an aggravating factor what type of sport activity is allowed and what's uh, you know the one that has less risk for people who have varicose especially most of them are young men and athletes so as usual I went to do some research I looked on uh, scientific published papers and I try to digest it in a way that make it easy for people to understand uh, and uh, for the wide audience who are not specialists in medicine of course so we're gonna start by this review article or review paper looks at all everything that has been published and kind of summarize it so quickly let's go quickly to and uh, the summary and the, the report so the the authors find out that you know most of the time it has been thought back in the day that uh, cycling uh, was linked to erectile dysfunction what about varicocele unfortunately uh, it's a bad news for people who practice football basketball handball and even volleyball all of these uh, sport and sport activity were linked to increasing prevalence and severity of varicocele what does it mean increasing prevalence simply means that you are more likely to have varicocele uh, if you practice the sport and if you do have varicocele uh, the varicocele grade will be more severe okay so what is the consequence the consequence unfortunately is may lead to male infertility uh, having varicocele uh, while practicing a, a sport regularly in a high level can uh, unfortunately lead to infertility especially if you are uh, adding to that if you go to a sauna hot tub jacuzzi if you use a heated car seats if you use a laptop if you put a laptop on top of your lap uh, and we all know at this day and age everybody has is carrying a cell phone in his pocket you have this iPhone you have your nice Samsung in your pocket well these little devices are all producing electromagnetic waves and electromagnetic radiation that will directly affect your uh, sperm cells and can compound the negative effect of all the varicocele and especially if you go home and uh, you put your laptop on uh, on your lap to watch your favorite show etc so all this have can um, associate to have bad effect on sperm and motility and mobility so this is in a nutshell the conclusion uh, now let's look at a little bit more uh, other studies in this early studies from um, uh, 2016 in uh, Italy pediatric varicocele and sports so when they looked at the um, uh, so in this study um, published in the ARC Journal of Urology in 2016 
Uh, coming to us from Italy, pediatric varicose seal in sports. The authors asked the question, does it exist a correlation between the left varicose seal and the continuous practice of sports? So they looked at uh, 117 boys that were suffering from left idiopathic varicose seal. And quickly, just to summarize, in the conclusion, they found that uh, idiopathic varicose seal, idiopathic means like we don't know the cause, varicose seal for boys who are doing continuous sports um, they found that the comparative frequency of the boys suffering from varicose is higher than the general uh, sporting adolescent. So um, they think that sports uh, may be a risk factor for the left varicose uh, In this study in 2013, restricting sport activity, introducing the rate of varicose and related infertility parameters. So. Uh, the aim of this study was to test the hypothesis that cessation of sports in young athletes reduced the prevalence of varicocele. And they looked uh, at a thousand young males. They were divided in two, uh, in three age groups. Uh, the first group uh, of 305 uh, athletes played basketball, volleyball, handball, and football. The second group, 44, they were playing water polo. Uh, which is a swimming sport activity and the third group 664 were sport inactive they called that the control group so what were the result the results showed a significantly higher percentage of varicose in the first group when they compared it to the control group which was statistically significant uh, interestingly they found that the male diagnosed with varicose in the second group were lower than a control group so meaning those who played water polo they did they have less varicose than the control those who did not play any sport so maybe uh, swimming and swimming sport activity can protect against varicose because probably the body is in always in a, this colder uh, environment and temperature etc and they found of course that uh, those who had varicose had the uh, issues with their sperm. So the conclusion, the study showed that sports associated varicose had a positive prognosis when diagnosed early and upon cessation of sport training. So meaning that if we found that you have a varicose early and we can counsel you and advise you to, to, sport, to stop the sport and the training, you may have uh, improvement on your uh, semen and uh, varicose Another study published in Human Reproduction, um, physical activity as possible aggravating factor for athletes with varicose impact on the semen profile uh, from Italy. So this study was to evaluate the influence of physical exercise on sperm parameters of male athletes who have uh, varicose uh, So, and uh, they looked at uh, uh, multiple, volunteers and they looked at their hormones and uh, they found that athletes with varicose had a smaller left testicle no modification of hormonal parameters addressed or observed in any group so physical activity may represent an aggravating factor for spermatogenesis in athletes with varicose so this is what we need to uh, retain from this uh, paper that uh, athletes that are engage in uh, continuous sport activity are um, in aggravating meaning they're, they're more likely to have uh, worse uh, sperm uh, cells and they may have risk of infertility if on top of that they have varicose so sports plays a negative uh, factor in this case what about uh, this uh, paper that came to us from Saudi Arabia. They looked at prevalence and awareness of varicose among athletes in Riyadh in Saudi Arabia. So they looked at uh, multiple athletes. So they conducted a study of 382 people and uh, they tried to find what type of uh, exercise, uh, bodybuilding versus aerobic exercise. So bodybuilding, we all know bodybuilding is uh, involved uh, weightlifting usually in a gym. Uh, as opposed to aerobic exercise like uh, jogging, running, or walking. 
So it's an interesting study tool because sometimes uh, people ask what type of sports put me at more at risk of uh, you know varicose. So they found that there's clearly not really a difference between these type of sports. Uh, however, those who participate more, who have uh, who go, have more training sessions. So if we look here at the table two, they did not really find a difference between aerobics uh, practice or bodybuilding, etc. But the, the, this is the p-value that shows that no statistical significance. However, if you exercise more than three or four or five times a day, then you're more likely to develop a varicose seal, regardless of the, the sport that you are practicing. In conclusion, knowledge of a varicose seal uh, was found to be poor among athletes in Riyadh in Saudi Arabia. And varicose seal is more common in athletic men who are frequently exercising. I mean, like if you frequently exercise more than three times a week, uh, you have more chance to develop varicose regardless of the um, um, the sports uh, activity you're engaged in. Uh, what about this uh, paper in Journal of uh, Endocrinology Investigation 24, 2004, varicose and sport in the adolescent age? Preliminary report because they looked here at uh, the effect of physical training uh, on the natural history of a varicose seal. And uh, they found that uh, sport training does not modify the prevalence of varicose seal, meaning that according to these authors and their study, they concluded that uh, sports does not give you more chance or more risk to develop varicose seal. But however, physical activity is considered as an aggravating factor okay so this is probably the consensus that we found in all these studies that everybody agrees that sports regardless of sport activity especially if it's uh, consistently practiced and regularly practiced throughout the week uh, definitely uh, makes those varicose seal more prevalent worse and consequently uh, and ultimately affect um, sperm and semen quality. Uh, this article here uh, published in Scandinavian Journal of Urology, uh, they looked at the effect of exercise on the diameter of the spermatic vein and the duration of reflux in patients who have varicose seal. So uh, they looked at the, the, they look specifically at the vein and the reflux in a multiple patient and I'm just going to go to the conclusion. This study demonstrated that acute exercise increases the spermatic vein diameter and reflux time in patients with varicose seal. These outcomes demonstrate that acute exercise may be an aggravating factor for varicose seal as seen in chronic exercise. So what can we uh, retain from this? Uh, sports, as in general, is not uh, harmful to the body, it's uh, generally good for your health. However, if you suffer from varicose seal, you need to know that um, the practice of sports uh, regularly can make those varicose seal worse, as well as their impact on semen and fertility. The good news is there's no uh, real difference between aerobic versus anaerobic sports versus bodybuilding, for example, uh, versus sports that are more aerobic like uh, running, martial arts, etc. The only factor that seems to be uh, affecting young athletes is the regularity of sports practice. If uh, they are practicing assiduously the sports three times, four times, five times a week, then it's going to be very hard to control the varicose seal and uh, most of the studies uh, ask those people to take a break from sports. Swimming and uh, water sport activities seems to have a protective effect on varicose seal as uh, found in one of the studies. Uh, maybe this is related to the fact that athletes are submerging the cool water which we know that uh, may have a protective effect. If you suffer from uh, varicose seal, please remember no sauna, no hot tubs, and spe especially if you are engaged in regular high intensity acute sports, don't uh, go to indulge in anything that involves hot water because this will dilate your vein and make varicose seal uh, worse over time. This is to be avoided. And at the opposite, try to take. Uh, cool shower try to lower the temperature of the the scrotum in your veins uh, don't indulge in hot bath 
uh, remember also if you use in your smartphone in your pocket and uh, or your laptop these are all these devices that fortunately are affecting our generation and are responsible for male infertility due to exposure of electromagnetic uh, uh, waves and uh, radio wave that directly affect uh, sperm cells and uh, will make uh, the effect of varicocele harder thank you